Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Humble Eats. I'm Lala, welcome to my kitchen. Please take the time out to subscribe if you're not already. Ring the bell so you're notified when I upload or go live. I have this pack of short ribs. This whole meal, like these are $11. Yes, I agree, that's a little pricey. But the whole meal costs about maybe 14 bucks. So it's a, it's a very um, humble meal. We turned this pack of, this little pack of meat into a great big pot of goodness and deliciousness. All right. So, um, short ribs. The best thing about short ribs is you could either salt and pepper it, season it, put it on the grill and cook it for what, less, less than 10 minutes and it's delicious. You know, cook it like a steak. It's good. Or you can braise them, um, and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to braise it. So um, just cut the, the ribs between the bones because we want to make volume, right? We want to make, we want to eventually make this little pack of meat into a great big pot to feed at least six people. Um, you want to season your meat. I'm using the Chef Morito Carne Sada seasoning, my favorite. And then the Chef Morito or any garlic powder will do and then the um some onion powder a tablespoon of everything will be fine if you want to be specific but just season to taste your liking remember you know your family i don't so if you're someone in your family needs less salt then use less of the seasoning or a, or a um sodium free seasoning all right, so I have a onion that I'm going to be using. I'm just going to slice them. Today, my hands were just not working for me. I uh, I could barely get the knife through the onion. I believe I have arthritis. It's not diagnosed yet, but uh, I just... Some days, it's just really hard and really painful to cut an onion. And that kind of scares me a little bit. All right, so in this pot, my favorite pot, I add some canola oil, and I'm going to sear or brown the meat. I do this just for really kind of for aesthetic reasons, because I like my meat to look brown and not gray. Um, and also, I think it's, it kind of seals in. I mean, I don't know. Does it seal in the... Do you want your flavor sealed in? I kind of don't. I kind of want my flavor everywhere. So... Um, I, I just do it for, for the brown because I love me some brown meat <laughs> alright so I have three golden potatoes um, and I'm just gonna just cube them up into some you know potatoes made for stew basically I cut the potato in thirds and then I cut the the cut it in half and then cut it in thirds again it makes these really big cubes um, something like for a potato salad, you know, that, that size, uh, again, is a hearty, a hearty meal and you rinse your potato and then just soak them in some water and you can put it in the fridge until you need them. You know, you'll drain it, of course, but there you go. Your potatoes, it's very, this is a very simple, again, simple, delicious, humble meal. And, uh, you know, try to get both sides. If you, if you don't. It's okay. It's not that serious. All right. Um, add in your on your sliced onion, and um, I don't remember what happens next. <laughs> oh, I have this green salsa. So every Monday, I make a pot of beans, and I make green salsa or or, or any salsa. I had some left over, so I added about, I'm going to say two cups of green salsa and then one cup of water. Now, you can use a bottled salsa. It's called Herdez would be my recommendation. They make a really great green salsa. Um, or you can even use a red salsa if you want. Just use some kind of salsa. And then I'm adding one can of diced tomatoes that are made for, for to make a chili. Um, I don't, I don't know if they're seasoned. I don't know why they put that advertisement on the can, but it's a 14.5 ounce can. I tasted it and the, the tomato was very acidic. 
So I added about a tablespoon of sugar to calm that down and then a teaspoon of beef broth. Now instead of a, one cup of instead of one cup of water, you could add the beef broth or you can add a bouillon. I'm sorry, did I say beef broth? It's a bouillon I added or the beef powder. So one cup of water is a beef bouillon or one cup of beef broth. Okay, just want to make sure that was clear. I cooked it for about uh, two hours. And then for the last 30 minutes, I added in the potatoes that I rinsed or drained and rinsed. And uh, then I let it cook for 30 more minutes. And then um, this happened. This really gnarly thing happened. <laughs> it's called... A tortilla press maker, what's it called? It's called the Tortilla Flatbread Maker by Brentwood Appliances. This is not a promotion. They did not send this to me for free. I purchased it because I'm an idiot <laughs> or because I was curious. I saw one on TikTok and of course, you know, when you see it on TikTok, that means you got to get it. So I, um, I use this prepared masa called white wing i always keep that in, in stock in my house because you you know sometimes the stores don't uh i, I don't buy the the pre-made tortillas i like them homemade sometimes so now i did use this machine saturday a couple days before this day and i used the corn tortilla mix and it didn't come out so i was like okay let me try it again you know it's Let's let's figure this out. I wanted to figure this out with y'all. I wanted to showcase this machine to see if or maybe it, it will work. Maybe y'all could, you know, I don't know, make it. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. But as y'all can see, I I read the directions. They say put the the masa or the patty, the back of the machine, and just close it. As you can see, it keeps it keeps sliding out, right? So eventually it'll, it stayed and I pressed it. But when you press it, if you press it too hard, it it makes a hole in your tortilla, right? So I'm like, okay. This, I mean, there has to be a different way. This, I mean, because when I seen it on TikTok, this is not, this was not happening, right? And then I started looking, I was like, man, that's super thick. That's a thick tortilla. Um, so I was like, okay, well, maybe they're just going to be, have holes in them. I mean, it's just, I mean, we're going to, it's going to go, we're going to tear it up anyway. It's going to go in our bellies. It's not that serious, you know. Okay, so then I figured out how to use it. So you can't just put in, you got to really flatten out the tortilla. Now, I'm a, a tortilla, flour tortilla connoisseur. Those were the <laughs> bread. If it had become between bread and the, the flour tortilla, it's going to be a flour tortilla every time, okay? So, I like them a certain way. I don't... Y'all are going to see in a minute what they look like up close. But what you do is you got to basically flatten it. So flatten the masa, right, as, as much as you can with just your hands. Put the top on and let it sit for like four or five seconds. And then you press. And when you press, no matter what, you're gonna get the you're gonna get the noise that it's a creepy, scary noise that will freak out your dogs and run amok in your house <laughs> because this noise is I had to cut it down when I'm editing because y'all, it's just it's not good. Now, if you press, like, because you, you're, you're thinking, okay, let me press it so it could become thin. When you do that, it just basically turns into a cracker. Listen, look. Look, Linda. Look. You see? It's not like a tortilla. And then look. You see that? It's a cracker. So... Um, it was $40 on Amazon. I'm not going to lead you that way because I, re I refuse. 
Um, it's not worth it for me. I would rather just make my own tortillas, roll them out the old-fashioned way. That's what I get for trying to be, you know. Like, I, I really thought I was doing something. Alright, so as I said, um, I made a pot of beans. I added about, you know, some beans. I just, I don't know. Two spoonfuls of beans at the bottom of the bowl. And then, uh... The stew. And there you go. That was the meal. I hope that uh, y'all enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If y'all make it, let me know. Come back. Tell us how much you loved it. Or if you didn't, it's okay. But do um, let us know. Alright, enjoy the rest of the video. Hey baby, come try it. I'm doing a video. Um, this is a short rib stew with beans and potatoes. I um I just kind of threw it together. I know you were sick and maybe this will make you feel comfortable. And I also made flour tortillas using my new machine. Okay? Here's your soap. And here's the tortillas. <laughs> okay, it's spoon. Hold on. I'm just laughing because they're kind of thick. Uh -huh. okay. But I figured that it's okay that they're thick because you could eat it because you're eating it with the stew, you know? Mm -hmm. And there's salsa, mm -hmm. tomates, short ribs, beans, potatoes, it's hearty. No, tortilla is so good. You like it? Yeah. It's so thick, right? But it's good with the mm -hmm. stew, right? Yeah. They're hard. You like? I like this thing. But it's good to just be like this. Mm -hmm. Dump it like that. That's good. Okay. That's a real good meal. Alright, I'm glad you like it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Thank you. I'm enjoying my meal. Thank you for watching.